Jacob Conover, quarterback at Chandler High School, and this is my edge. Jacob Conover in the house, let's get this thing started. Why don't you tell the people what's your edge? You know, over time I've kind of earned the name Smooth Operator, and you know what I kind of take that as is, you know, under pressure I'm cool, I stay medium, and you know when stuff hits the fan, you know, I'm just keeping it cool, level-headed, and uh, playing like I play. So let's let the people get to know you a little bit better here. Every football player on earth seems to be on Fortnite. Is that something you're into too? Oh yeah, grind never stops, you know. Fortnite's where it's at. It is where it's that much better than any other video game? You know, Fortnite just has something to it. I don't know, everyone plays it. How about movies? Anything inspire you, anything? Are you a Marvel guy, superheroes? I'm a Marvel guy. Um, with this past Infinity War movie, it's probably top Marvel movie. Favorite food? Pre-game meal? You know, I'm a huge food guy. Uh, last year's before every game, um, go to Jimmy John's, order the number nine Italian nightclub. That was the pre-game meal before every game. That's a nice plug for Jimmy John's right there. How about pre-game music? Uh, before every game, yeah, it's not so much music, but there's a 2015 BYU highlight video that I was to before every game. It's like a hype video that I get used to. You grew up in the Beaverton area, participating in the Elite 11's something you've always wanted to do since you were a kid. You had a chance to do that this year. What was the experience like? You know, uh, growing up in Hillsborough, Oregon, it's like 15 minutes from Nike's world headquarters. So, you know, every year, um, me and my dad would go watch the Elite 11. And, um, you know, from that moment on, I knew that, you know, that was my goal to go be in the Elite 11. And when I got the invite, you know, it was kind of surreal, like, this is actually happening. You know, I've been preparing for this for a long time. And, you know, the connections you make, I think that was the biggest thing I took away from it, more than the football side, was, uh, you know, meeting the other 24 quarterbacks. You know, I'm going to stay with them and be in contact with them for the rest of my life. Chandler High School is starting to get a pretty good reputation as one of the top programs in the country. You've won two straight state titles. You're looking for your third this year. Describe the pressures of being the starting QB on one of the top programs in the nation. Yeah, you know, there are a few pressures, you know. When you um, start performing at a school like Chandler, a national schedule, it's almost expected that you perform. And you know what, um, not only me, but all the other athletes at Chandler, you know, we kind of push the pressures away, you know. At the end of the game, our coaching mind is just a game. And, you know, we're playing together, and if you see them as pressures, you're not going to play well. And, you know, we just try to play as a team, and do the best we can because we're not, I mean, we're playing for the community and we're playing for each other, but then uh, as, if we see these pressures, we're not gonna play as well. You guys got the big matchup coming up against Corona Centennial. Give me your thoughts on that. Yeah, you know, uh, our head coach does a good job of setting us up for big national games. And, you know, we've got a taste of these guys before my sophomore year and you know, it was a shootout. Ultimately, couldn't finish them off, but getting a chance to play them again my senior year, you know, we're going in, we're prepared, we're ready to go. At this point, everybody knows you've committed to BYU to play football. I even saw somewhere on Twitter that you said this is a school of your dreams. What's BYU getting in Jacob Conover? You know, uh, my dad went to BYU and you know, I've grown up watching BYU every Saturday. And um, you know, um, I've been up there many times, it's like a second home. And you know, I like to think of myself as a winner, so I want to go in there and be consistent. One of the biggest things as a quarterback is consistency. And, over these past three years at Chandler High School, I've been able to win. I think that's one of the big attributes I'm bringing to BYU. You're in your senior year. You're going to Brigham Young University. You're taking two years off. Tell us about that decision. Ultimately, it came down to ASU and BYU, my final decision. And um, when I was thinking about it and praying about it, um, the opportunity at ASU was to come start as a true freshman. Because many of us were leaving. And, you know, if I was going to ASU, I wasn't going, going to go on my mission. And so, you know, I met with Danny White, um, and he's a LDS member, and his thing was, you know, football was his mission, you teach people through football, and, you know, I had that in the back of my mind, and, you know, and then I, ta I've talked to BYU for a long time, and, you know, they're okay with whatever I did, and they always support me, but um, as I came down to prayer, I realized, you know, I was supposed to go to BYU, and, you know, I was supposed to go on a mission, and, you know, that was a big decision in my life, and, 
but I know I'm supposed to do that and take the two years off to serve the Lord. Give me three words to describe your life this far. Three words I would use are blessed, humbling, and adventurous. Thanks for hanging out today, Jacob Conover. Best of luck this year.